Okay, another photoshopping tutorial. Today I've got an image that's been scanned from an old book. We want to uh, tidy it up a bit, give it a bit of colour, make it a bit fresher. You can see there, there's the signs. We want to take one of these black and white ones and give it some colour like the other ones here. So let's open up one of these old signs here. You can see it's upside down. So we're going to go on image and rotate canvas 180 degrees. Now it's facing the right way. You can see some old marks and dots and stuff on the screen. We're going to try and tidy these up. You get your quick selection tool, change your point size to however you want it. I want it a little bit bigger than what it was. Right, so I'm just going to drag it around in that white area. That's going to select all that white area inside and and not the black arrow. Right, so we're going to give it some color. Image. You can see it's on grayscale. We need it to go to RGB. Otherwise, it's just going to stay gray or black and white. Now that we've got the image in RGB mode, we can go to edit and fill. And here we can choose our colour. We want a colour, yes. And let's choose the colour that we want. I want to make the inside of it yellow like the other ones. And choose your colour. Whatever tone you want, and OK. Make sure opacity is up around 100%. If it's down too low, you won't be able to see the colour. Now you see the inside of the sign is nicely yellowed. So now we're going to go back to either the rectangular marquee tool with a select box as I call it or the lasso tool and I'm just going to click outside the image just so there's no selection currently present inside that image box again. Alright, so if we go back to our our wand or our quick selection tool we're going to clean up and bring a bit more colour back into the, the arrow inside the sign make it a bit darker so yep, back to our quick selection tool and just simply drag and select the arrow. With the arrow selected, just the same as before, image, uh, edit, fill and select your colour and we want to make it black. OK. Opacity is at 100% so it's going to be nice and dark. OK. So now it's time to clean up the outsides, make it nice and white, get rid of those marks that are on the page or on the screen on the image again with the lasso tool just to deselect our current selection and back to the quick select tool selecting all the areas around the outside and of course we're just going to fill this with white so edit fill color and just choose white up there ok and ok now it's nice and white nice and clean and I'm selecting the C tool again just to click outside the image to get rid of that selection. Now I quite like the sign as it is with this uh, border on the outside, but you might want to make that into a you know a thick solid black line as well. So you just go through the same process. Your yeah, quick selection tool. And you might need to make your point size a bit smaller. So if it's nice in the borders there, you can go smaller again. I'm just going to do this really quickly and pretty roughly. You see I'm slowly clicking, selecting more and more of the border around the outside. So I'll just do half of this, just to show you. And again, just edit and fill. And choose your colour again, which will just be black. Okay, you can see it doesn't really fill it in properly. It's probably because the rough image, you know, there's no single defined line that's a bit broken up from the photocopy. So what we can do instead is go to the the brush tool, and zoom right in on the image. This will make it a bit easier making our changes. Whoop! Better get black first, eh? Make it black and you can start filling that in. If you do this carefully with a nice steady hand, you could up when the end up with a pretty good result.
You can see there I could actually only paint inside the area that was selected from our quick tool. So I need to take that selection off. Then we can paint around the rest of the border. Then I can zoom in even more, move the image around, make it easier. Remember nice steady hands here. Oh, I'm just rushing this a bit, so not gonna look great. But you get the idea and a bit of practice so you'll get the edge of that, that border nice and smooth. And don't worry if you make a mistake, remember you can always go edit, undo. And remember you can change your point size of a brush to big or small, that's a bit too big I think. For finer details you can make it much smaller. Right here's the finished picture, a bit more time around the edges, make it a bit smoother, look a lot better. My intention for this is to actually shrink it down to like a thumbnail size so you won't really see all these imperfections. And it certainly looks a lot better than the uh, photocopied image that we had from the old book.